Ronald Melzack was born in 1929 in Montreal. His parents were working class, and he was one of three boys. The family didn't have the means for all of the boys to pursue a post-secondary education, so Ronald went to university while the brothers worked at the family bookstore. It's been said that Dr. Ron Melzack has done for pain research and pain management what Einstein did for physics. Well, Ron Melzack has contributed very fundamental uh, basis of our physiological and psychological understanding of pain. At the time when uh, Ron Melzack and Pat Wall were first writing, pain was a fairly small, uh, somewhat obscure field of neurophysiology. Now it's one of the major fields. Pain is very valuable stuff. I think it is such an essential part of our human life. After time spent at University College London and the University of Pisa in Italy, Dr. Melzack joined the faculty at MIT in the early 60s. He and his colleague, Dr. Patrick Wall, developed the groundbreaking gate control theory that would initiate a new era of research around the globe in numerous fields. I think the, the gate control theory explained a lot of observational facts which had been floating around rather vaguely without really coming into uh, focus, you might say. What the gate control theory provided was a mechanism or, or the possibility of a mechanism where under certain sets of circumstances it might be that the, that the pain message, if you like, from the, the toe to the brain just never got there. That is the great breakthrough. When Pat Wall and I proposed the gate control theory of pain, it was uh, nerve impulses from an injured area in the body going into the spinal cord, and there there was what we called a gate. Uh, so uh, if you were busy thinking about something else, the gate might be shut, and you might not even feel the pain. And then the gate can be wide open. You are anxious and worried about something and you, your pain is enhanced or along with your pain comes a stress. So now what we have is, is a real field of psychology. I mean, it's a, psychology is now an integral part of the pain field. Dr. Melzack is also credited with the development of the McGill Pain Questionnaire, a clinical tool that once established quickly became the gold standard used around the world for measuring pain in clinical research. Much of his foundational thinking for the questionnaire came during his postdoctoral work with Dr. Livingston in Oregon, doing research with patients suffering from a variety of chronic pain, such as phantom limb pain. Ron uh, Melzack's uh, McGill Pain Questionnaire was really a major uh, step because Previous to that, there really was no widely accepted measure of pain. He was, he was working with patients who had pain problems, and that's, of course, how he developed, uh, from a scientific point of view, uh, developed the pain questionnaire, the McGill pain questionnaire, which is used everywhere. It has now been, the McGill pain questionnaire has been translated into over 50 languages. So we now have more than 50 translations of this. After returning to Montreal in 1963, Dr. Melzack's brilliant work as a basic scientist, coupled with his deep empathy for patients suffering from chronic pain, led him to be the driving force behind the ultimate opening of Canada's first pain clinic at McGill. He floated the idea of a, of a pain center uh, in the, what's now the MUHC, and I met with a lot of enthusiastic support from his medical colleagues, and that eventually led to the Pain Center. So to get this group together focusing on these difficult, very difficult medical syndromes uh, was a, an important, a very important therapeutic step forward. Yeah. It is important to have people from as many different medical specialties uh, working to help the patient who is in pain. In the late 80s, Dr. Melzack published the Neuromatrix Theory of Pain, advancing a genetically determined neural network model. Our brain develops in remarkable ways. We, have, we are born with twice as many neurons in our brain as we need, and they begin to slough away and almost sculpt 
what is happening. And the genes are such that they sculpt what I consider to be the neural matrix for feeling the body. So I think it is, I think the, the future lies in how do you have many and integrate them into ultimately one feeling to which we give a name, pain. For his seminal work, ongoing research, and profound impact on the psychology and physiology of pain, ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. Ronald Melzack. <laughs>